OBSE. Today we cover everything I know about it. Welcome to Gamer Poets and to Modding My Way. Sit back, relax, and pause when needed. You got this. Do you need it? Unless you have another mod that requires the script extender. No, you do not need this. Get out of here. Go outside or something. For everybody else. Requirements. You need some type of archival program. 7-Zip, WinRAR, it's up to you. I prefer 7-Zip. Compatibility. OBS E only works for Steam's Test 4 Remastered. If that changes, I'll make a notation in the pinned comment for you. The mod page tells you what versions of the game are supported. If other options become available and you aren't sure which game version you have, this is how you find out. Open the drive that you have Steam installed to. Open Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion Remastered. Right-click Oblivion Remastered.exe. If you don't see the .exe, click View, Show, File Name Extensions. That little tip and others can also be found on my modding tips video. Now with the exe right-clicked, select Properties, Details, Product Version. Product Version is your version of the game. This needs to match what's available for you to download. Installation. Still on the mod page, manually download the version of OBS E64 that matches your game. If you don't have a matching version, you can't use it. You may either need to update your game or unfortunately, skip it for now. Open the archive that was downloaded. In the second window, open the game folder as we have previously. Then open this Oblivion Remastered folder. Binaries, Win64. Drag and drop the contents of the mod folder inside. Leave this folder open. Open Steam. With Steam open, Double-click the OBS64 loader. If the game launches and you make it to the main menu, everything is working. Once you shut the game down, if you aren't using a mod manager, you may want to right-click the OBS E64 loader and send to Desktop. This way you can launch the game from the shortcut instead of having to go back to the installation location every time you want to launch the game. Just remember that Steam needs to be open before launching. Vortex users. Vortex users open your dashboard. In the future, OBS E may be auto detected. For now, add new. Name it. Select the target folder. Open the Oblivion Remastered game folder. Then open this Oblivion Remastered folder. Binaries Win64. Double click the OBS E64 loader. Save. From now on, launch the game from here. Mod Organizer 2 users. Open MO2. In the future, OBS E may be auto detected. For now, modify executables. Plus symbol, add from file. Open the game folder. Then open this Oblivion Remastered folder, Binaries, Win64. Double click the OBS E64 loader. Check the box for Overwrite Steam App ID. Add the number 26231901. In future MO2 updates, you may not need this number. For right now, you do. Apply. OK. From now on, launch the game from here. The game won't launch. If the game doesn't launch and you instead get some kind of error window, close the error message. Go to Steam. Right-click Oblivion Remastered. Properties. Installed Files. Verify integrity of game files. Let the files be verified and acquired. Try launching OBS E from your mod manager again. This fixed the issues for me. Is OBS E64 working? Other than the fact that the game is running, there's a second way to test if the script extender is working. Once you get in game, push the tilde key. Type get OBS E version. Push enter. If a version number is returned, everything is good. If not, recheck the video steps. Note that different language keyboards may use a different key press. Please note in the comments what key you use to open the console to help everybody else out. Antivirus. If the game won't launch and you are sure that everything is correct and you verified your game files, your antivirus may be blocking the extender. Go to your antivirus and whitelist OBSC64. If you need help, I show how to whitelist for Windows Defender antivirus in my modding tips video, which I've linked. Steam Overlay not working. If you'd like your Steam Overlay to work, but it's currently not, go to Steam, right-click Oblivion Remastered, Properties, General, 
Copy and paste the provided launch option command from the description, as you see me doing here. The only thing that you need to change here is the drive letter at the very beginning. Whatever drive you have Steam installed to, you have to change this to that. That's it. Close the window and you're good to go. Log files and any files. You may never need these, but in case you do, this is where you find them. Open up your operating system drive. For most of you, this is C. Open users, your user account name, documents, my games, Oblivion Remastered, OBSE. This is where the log files are. I believe this is also the location to create the OBSE any file, though I'm not 100% sure, and currently, there's no need for an any file anyways. If this changes, I will update the video. And finally, how to uninstall and or update OBSE. If things aren't working as they should, or you simply want to get rid of OBSE, go back to where you installed the files, delete everything that starts with OBSE, and then delete the SRC folder. That's it. To update OBSE, simply download the latest archive, drag and drop the contents into this same folder as we did earlier, and if you are asked to overwrite anything, say yes. If you care to support the channel, there are various options in the pinned comment and in the description. You can also like, share, and all that jazz. Thanks for hanging out with me. You got this.